Now we will introduce the Wi-Fi S232 adapter. First, the adapter supports three power input. First, the mini USB. The second, the external power input. You can plug our cable in and connect with the connector. The third is the P9 of the DB9. You can switch from here the DB9 power input or output and switch from here the power source. On the other side is the slide switch. You the print is the DCE and DTE, which means the TX and RX to swap if necessary. Let's power on the adapter and plug the power input. You will see the indicator here. The adapter will start with the access point row. You can choose the serial to Wi-Fi SSID. Let's connect. The key value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. then the RPC is connected with the adapter. The second, we execute the browser. The default IP address is 192.168.1.1.1. Let's log in by the add admin. The same with the password admin in the all case. From here, you can set the ball ray or customize ball ray. For example, five. The data bit support art, even, and non parity. The star bit is one for control, hardware, or non. From here, you can set the Wi Fi. It supports three modes the simple AP, station, and dual. You can change the SSID here. The security will be scanned automatically and this is our default security key. For the network, you can set DHCP, crime, enable or disable. If you disable, you can set the fixed IP here. The application support machine to machine and uh, HTTP client. From M2M application, you can set the TCP server or TCP client. If you use, use our S2, S485, it will support MOBUS RTU here. From HTTP client, you can set up the host and the query stream. There are two methods, get and post. For the system, this is our firmware version. This is the MAC address. You can change the 
password. From here, you can set an NTP server. NTP server means the standard time on the network. Thank you.